Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Panda palette. And if you haven't seen my last update, that was my Reram Panda palette update, you would not have seen this small palette right here. You will have to see the video because I go more in depth with the shadow I have created because they are basically Frankenstein shades. Yeah, I will just quick show you my bigger C palette. If you have followed along this year, you would have seen this one before and my goal was to hit pan on every single shade from this palette and it was only going to be these shadows over here and I have managed to do so, kind of. Um, last update I told you guys, the one in the beginning of August, I told you guys I was so unmotivated and I didn't really like this palette that much and I just was getting bored basically. So I thought to myself why not try to make them work in another way. So I dug out this, 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 this and this shade and this shade and this shade. So I basically now have pan in every single shade. I mixed them in with some other shadows and then I created this palette. So I will show you this picture from the Reram update. This is what my palette looks like now. So you can see that has happened a lot in two weeks and I'm so excited about this because this means it will be gone very very soon and that means I can end this challenge before the end of the year. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so so excited. Check out the re-ramp video because this will make much more sense. If you saw my re-ramp video you would know I mixed two shadows into this one. So when I finish these two shadows I have hit pan on four shades. And when I finish this, this and this and this, this is counting as one shadow each that I have hit pan on. I have just expanded the pan on this white shade. It has not moved very much but it has moved. This is unofficially in my Panda palette now because I am panning it in another challenge. So that is a sneak peek. I have hit pan on this purple, this purple, this gray and this gray and the olive shade. And I'm so, so excited because in the other palette I didn't like these two shades at all. And this was okay, but I hated these shadows in the other palette and now I have make them work for me which is so exciting and yeah i can fairly easily say i will have some shadows done by the next update because if this ju is just two weeks of use this will go fast <laughs> this will go so fast i remember correctly this look i have used this one and this one all over the lid this in the outer corner i believe i have used this as well so and this one of course, I have basically used them all. I have basically used these three very, very much the last past two weeks. Today, I have used this all over my lid and some orange in this crease and stuff like that. I have used it very, very often under my lower lash line to just bring a pop of color. It is not very green when you put it on your eyes, but it is green enough for me. So, I really, really enjoyed this palette. Of course, I'm going to show you my W7 in the CD Natural Nudes palette, and I am unofficially panning this as well, just to help me get through these shadows, and it has helped me so much. So, this is where I am with this palette. So, I have expanded the pans a lot. I am almost done with that one, which is so exciting. I have expanded this a lot. I have used it every single time in my crease, and I have hit pan on this one. I don't believe I have hit pan on it last time, but I have now and I'm very excited. I love using this in my outer corner. So I actually just need to hit pan on this one to have hit pan on them all this year, which is exciting. And I'm pretty sure I can finish this one by the end of the year, which will be very exciting. So quick update on this one. I will now quick talk about some of the palettes I have used to combine with 
these shadows to get me more motivated and try to play around with my shadows. To play around with my shadows and be creative is very, very, very important to me. I just re realized that in the past two weeks because I get bored very easily now. The two years before this, I could go through the patterns very quick and I wouldn't have a problem using them, but I get more and more bored. So next year, I don't think I will pan a colorful palette as a panda palette, I will play around with my shadows. I have used these four palettes to help me pan the shadows. So the one I have used in the last few days is this palette from Shannon XO BH Cosmetics Club. And I have been really, really liking this. I have mainly been using these two to create this very orange shade I have in, the, I have in my crease right now to mix with the olive shade, which I really, really like. I have used this a lot to put some shine on my lid. Right after I posted my Wee Ram, I dug into this palette. It is the, the Balm Balm Jovi palette. I used this shade, the Blink 1982 Rem uh, Alice Cover Moderato. I love this palette, actually. I love mixing it in with the more purple shadows in my panel palette. So, I also use these two a lot. This, these are very new to my collection. I got them as PR from W7 because I am an ambassador, if you didn't know. I got the Goldie Box one and I have used this one in this look, I believe, in my inner corner. I really like that. It was very hard to get a picture of that because I loved it, but the glitter didn't really show up. And then I got this one. It is the Eye Cushion Starlight Palette. I love this. This is so buttery and creamy and the shadows is feeling like actually cushions. It's very, very odd, but I have been loving this one all, uh, all over the lid or just a shine in the middle of my lid. And this in my crease, I did it in my uh, I look I wore in my heavy metal uh, intro and I love this palette very much. So this is the four palettes I have used to combining my shadows and be more creative. So I'll tr I will try to do this every single month um, because I am going to play around with my shadows because I'm getting bored. <laughs> So that is everything for this panel palette. I hope I got everything in this video. I didn't have that many details in it, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So if you have any questions to me, please let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will stick around. So subscribe to my channel down below. Like this video if you liked it, follow my social media, and I will see you guys in my next video.